I had ministers and pastors calling me from the United States again this last week. I, I go there a couple of times a year. And they're asking me, how do we handle the situation where we have a, a president that we're not too happy with and we now have the, not, uh, the, the represented uh, um, candidate in the Republican Party who has a different belief system to what they have as Christians? And they said, what do we do? Now, I said, first of all, understand that that person who's elected is never the answer. God is always the answer. And they said, but what do we do? I said, you vote for the one who holds the closest values to what you have. But don't make them the answer, otherwise you fall into idolatry. And if you get dejected because who you want then came in, then you've got a form of idolatry in your life because your hope was in something else rather than God. They said, Pastor, can God use such a man? I said, well, let's have a look at history. He used a donkey. <laughs> to talk to a rebellious prophet. He used a fish to swallow a rebellious prophet. He used a worm to eat the plant that gave a rebel prophet shade. He used a rooster to stir up an up and coming preacher called Peter. Now I feel confident that if God could use a donkey, a fish, a worm, and a rooster, he can use a Mormon. <laughs>